Hey guys, what is up? This is Ted Boyd back with another video for you guys. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to defeat boss Wonder Woman. And uh, in that matter, all the bosses that uses super shield on them, that has super shield on them. Okay. So now uh, there are chances that, you know, you might not have the artifacts that I'm going to show you. There are chances that you might not have the characters that I'm going to show you. But don't worry, I'm going to take it to the bottom and I'm going to show you the best possible thing that you can do to uh, defeat these kind of bosses. Now, this doesn't, just doesn't go for boss Wonder Woman, but for all the bosses who have Super Shield on them. Okay. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> moving on. The first uh, thing that I'm going to show you, we're going to talk about the artifacts that can be used. There are a few different artifacts that can be used uh, to tackle Super Shield. Okay. So let's talk about the artifacts first. So now, you know, you can actually use uh, King of Atlantis, Aquaman, Shazam, and Dr. Fate. And you can put uh, Claws of Horus. Now let me show you the stats of Claws of Horus. You can put Claws of Horus on Shazam. And uh, you can put uh, King of Atlantis, Aquaman as the damage dealer. Now the thing is that it has 30% chance to stun. Now this is not the best way to create stuns uh, with the help of uh, basic attacks. But, uh, you know, this is the only chance that you're going to have to do your special attack, your special three. You know, if you are able to stun the opponent, now there's a 30% chance. So, But the thing is that your Claws of Horus should be at least on level 8, 9, or 10, you know, to make this work effectively. Otherwise, your character that, that is having Claws of Horus will not stun the opponent frequently, and then you will lose in the entire match, right? So, so for me, it's uh, level 10, and there is a 30% chance to stun. So now when you have this artifact on Shazam, you can swipe, you can do the basic attacks. And when the character is stunned, you can tag in King of Atlantis Aquaman and do a special three. Now these stuns might be random. You know, it can happen at any time. You know, maybe you just tag in Shazam and then there is a stun right away. So then you have to be a little you know, careful and you need to make sure that your gameplay is, uh, you know, in that manner that, you know, when you stun the opponent, your king should tag in and do a special attack, right? So this is one artifact that can be used to stun, uh, to stun and then in, then you can tag in a damage dealer and then start doing the damage, right? So now, moving on to the next artifact, which is, I think, probably the best artifact that you can use uh, in this regard, you know, to tackle the super shield. All right, so this artifact is called as Kryptonite Artifact and it's Kryptonite Spear, right? So this is the first effect of, that partic of this particular artifact. And it's clearly mentioned all specials with above combo with combo above 36 are unblockable and bypass special abilities and shields that block. So as you can see, it's mentioned right over here that if you have your combo meter over 36 hits, then your special attacks will be unblockable regardless of the super shield or the block or anything that is opponent is using against you. So this can be used on uh, Batman. Harley Quinn and EPI's team. So you can apply this artifact on Batman and you can swipe back and right and make sure that your combo meter goes till 36 or 40, whatever your level is required according to the level of your artifact. But then you can tag and stun the opponent. Trust me, guys, it won't, it, it will be like uh, the shield is not even there. Okay. So stun the uh, opponent with this, uh, with the special two, with Batman special two. Make sure that this artifact is on Batman. Stun it with uh, stun the opponent with special two. Tag in your Harley Quinn, do the damage, tag out, and then tag in Batman again. Make sure that the combo is above 40 hits. That is the important thing over here. Okay. And this eventually will lead to a lot of damage. And you guys know already how Harley Quinn is when it comes to damage. Now, in this scenario, in Wonder Woman, I haven't used Harley Quinn because uh, she is immune to DOT. She can be stunned. But she is immune to DOT, which allows my Harley Quinn to do less damage. Now, these two artifacts are artifacts that can be easily used, you know, in order to avoid the super shield and basically bypass. Uh, this artifact can actually bypass the special abilities and shields that block. So this is, uh, and this artifact is probably the best thing that you can use against the super shield opponents, right? Now, moving on to a different part of this video, which are the characters that you can use, you know, to fight against opponents. That have super shield. Now, this is probably the best character if you don't have Claws of Horus or if you don't have uh, Kryptonite Spear. Now, this is this character is someone that is not that easy to obtain, but if you have her, 
I'm just saying that if you have her, then let me show you this that she has immunity to reflective shields. Okay, it's written over here. So in order to do that, you need to mention you need to perform a special three, and then for some time, you know, until the special three's buffs are active, you will be immune to reflect. Okay, so you need to make sure that your character's special three, armored supergirl's special three, is maxed out to the highest level possible, regardless of your uh, other characters in the and that particular team, right? So you can tag in multiverse armored supergirl. Okay, you can actually myself used multiverse armored supergirl. I'm going to play a video again in front of you guys so that you guys get an idea about how to use this character. Okay. And, uh, you know, eventually she will have reflect immunity. But there is just one problem over here is that, uh, you know, when she won't do a lot of damage when the uh, opponent is using the super shield. Okay. That is the only, only problem. But the thing, good thing is that your character will not take a lot of damage. Okay. Now, moving on to a different character. So after this, I would say that uh, the other character that can do stun on Tagen, which is this guy, Black Adam. Now this guy has a passive ability, which uh, you know allows him to stun on Tagen. You can team him up with the uh, Green Lantern, Emerald Green Lantern. He also has the passive ability to you know stun the opponent on his uh, basic hits, right? So you know you can try to use Black Adam. And you can try to tag in at the right time, stun the opponent, and right away do your special attack, right? So this is the third character that you can use, you know, to uh, basically tackle the super shield. All right, guys. Now moving on to our last and final character that can be used, which is the Justice League team, the whole Justice League team with Cyborg, Justice League Flash, and Justice League Aquaman. Now you don't have to stun. Or do any special attacks over here the damage is in the basic attacks right as we all know uh, how the justice league team can be when it comes to their basic attacks right so you need to have a cyborg which is more important but you know the, again the question is that uh, how difficult it is to get that particular character so now if, if in case you don't have cyborg or you don't have any other character that i just spoke about then the only hope that you've got is to keep doing your special attacks and just Hope that the opponent does not block it with the super shield. Well, I guess then that is the only thing that you can do. You know, I would have said power draining the character, but power draining is not the optimal way to do that because you know if you power drain a character, you are losing power yourself, right? So how can you do additional damage after that? Even if you tag, even if you do a power drain, you tag in your damage dealer. Still, in that particular time period, your opponent will have enough power to use the special attack. Okay. And then there is one more thing that you can do is, you know, let me let me play a video over here so that you guys can see how I was able to defeat your boss Wonder Woman with Multiverse Armored Supergirl. Okay, so now there is one more thing as I was talking about which you can do, but this is again this is not the best thing to do. But usually the AI how this works is that if you are doing a special attack after doing a swipe right, there are chances that your opponent will use the special uh, super shield. Okay, or any other special attack, uh, if you're using it. Okay, so let's 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 take in for consideration you're using armored supergirl. You do the basic hit combo. You swipe right, and then you do a special attack. That is the moment that there, there are highest chances of the opponent to do to block your attack with the super shield. So try to use your attacks in between the combos. You know, right after you tag in, or maybe like you're doing one, two, three hits, and instead of swiping right, straight away do the special attack. You know, interrupt the opponent so that they, you know, they get confused. The AI gets confused and they don't use the special attack. So, you know, these are the best things that I can talk about right now. And if you guys have any any good ideas that can be used against these opponents, so this was basically the way that I defeated uh, uh, Wonder Woman. I used a multiverse armor super goal. I had other characters that could be used, but I just thought that maybe it's much better at this particular time because I just had like 1.2 or 3 million health left. So this particular character was good enough for me at that time. And uh, yeah, so guys, as I was saying that if you guys have any other way or any other character or artifact that can be used, please be, uh, you know, be my guest and mention it in the comments. Any other way to tackle Super Shield. Okay, I'll be more than happy to share it with everybody. Okay, so I believe this is it, guys, for the video. And if you have any other questions, do let me know. And uh, until then, guys, have a good day. Take care, be blessed, and stay safe. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.